Hello and welcome back to the Free From Its YouTube channel. I'm Hex and I was going to show you Spring Wars or Capsule Let's Be Local Design. All the places you can find me listed right down in this video. In this video, we're going to be doing a yarn review. I recently ordered from Muppets. You can check out my full haul here on my channel. I kind of went on a limb and purchased a new to me yarn base that I've never worked with before and wanted to try out. I typically am very specific about the yarns I buy, um, budget concerns. I have very sensitive skin, so I'm very, you know, hesitant to try something new on my skin. But I had been looking for a new DK weight base that would be good for socks. So I design all quite a few sock patterns. I have them available in my Ravelry shop. And I like to do work with fingering and DK weight yarns. But the DK weight yarns I have been working with uh, they don't have that wool content that just really makes a really warm wool sock. And as we've been moving into the colder months, I'm realizing that more and more. They just don't feel as comfortable on my feet as wool socks do. So I wanted to branch out and try a new to me sock base for DK weight socks. So I picked up and it picks Sweet City Tweed DK. And got a variety of colorways. And I decided to try out this base. And I want to share my thoughts with you if you are like me and hesitant and you have sensitive skin, you're hesitant to buy a new yarn that you haven't worked with before. So I just want to give you my thoughts on this yarn. Epic City Tweed is a blend of 55% merino wool, 25% super fine alpaca, and 20% donegal tweed. It comes in so many different pretty colorways and the tweed factor on this yarn is it just looks amazing. So I'll actually be showing you how the yarn works up but I do want to give like first impressions when I first picked up this yarn and touched it and squished it, I will admit it did feel a little bit on the rougher side. And I think that's the alpaca. I'm just not used to that texture. So that kind of did give me a little bit of pause. Um, Cause again, I'm a very hesitant, I'm very hesitant with, you know, my yarn money and just want to make sure I get yarn that I really like. So, um, but I decided to hold off on anything and cast on and see what I felt. So I've actually been working up some samples for um, a bit of an update for my pattern, my DK weight socks, my delightful knit socks, and I've been knitting with this yarn. And honestly, as I started to work with this yarn, I again felt that when I was casting on that texture in the yarn, and it did again give me some pause with the yarn. I wasn't sure how I felt about it, and it just felt rough in my hands but as my work grew and as I kind of became used to the feeling and felt my fabric growing I realized that it was kind of softening in my hands and I'm convinced that when I block this yarn it's going to be amazing so you can kind of see in the texture here of the work I'm working on you can see first of all notice the beauty of this tweed like how much tweed is in this yarn is amazing and the, yarn, the fabric itself is just softening as I'm working with it and I've kind of gotten used to the texture. Again, I have very sensitive skin so I'm very sensitive to different textures and fibers but as I've gotten used to it, it just feels really soft and inviting and it's going to make such a squishy sock. I'm so excited how this yarn will block. It's actually a finished sample of um, this City Tweed Knit Up. And again, I just can't get over how pretty the flex of tweed. I go back and forth on how I feel about tweed, but I think this base, it's just so even and rich against the background of their colors that I just really love the effect of it. Now that it's fully knit, the seal isn't blocked, but it just, it feels a lot more inviting. It doesn't have that same, like I'm not hesitant about it as I was in the skein. And again, I think that's just because I have such sensitive skin that I'm just really um, aware of different textures and very hesitant about it, like how like I'll react to it, but I don't have that anymore. It has the same like first rustic feel that you kind of notice in when you pick up like a sock yarn and just anything with a wool content, like that first, you know, that sturdiness that's going to mean it's going to have a long lasting life, but it will still be so nice and squishy on your feet. I am just, I really do love this DK yarn and I feel like it's opened, like this is another base that I am really eager to work with and do different projects in, but I'm loving knitting it up into socks. So that's my take on Nitpix City Tweed DK. These balls do come in 50 gram skeins, 123 yards per 50 grams. I can't wait to work with this yarn, this blue, because I love blue. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. They had so many different colors. I picked up three different colors, and if I can find the third one, here it is. So I picked up this Coastal Lemon Curd 
and this primrose color, which is attached to my project, so it's like a faulty ground. There we go. <laughs> and I love these colors together, so I'm having so much fun knitting up these DK weight socks. And I hope that this review helped you if you were on the fence about this base. Um, hopefully it gives you a little bit, if you really are looking for a DK weight base like I was, to give it a try because it does, I think it's, I think it's awesome. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the sock. So that's my review on Nipix City Tweed. If this review helped you, be sure to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out any more videos like this. I do my podcasts, yarn reviews, yarn hauls, all that fun of crafty stuff. And if you could take a moment, comment, comment down below if this video helped you. If you are interested in this space, if you have any questions about this space, I'd love to help you in any way I can. Love discussing all things yarny. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy crafting!